Greetings, this is Berto, and we have done an addition onto our British Columbia land, because I thought, what would be British Columbia, or not British Columbia land, British Columbia portion in Canada land, and I thought, what, what would British Columbia's portion be without a log flume? So we have a log flume that, uh, yes, I know, that uh, we've made for the British Columbia portion because, well, logging is very important. Cool. Logging is very important to British Columbia, and that's why we have a log flume. So we're going to take a look. Um, next episode, I'll be working on the... Ooh, we're losing money, but that's okay. Um, next episode, I'm going to be working on the Alberta portion of... Canada land. But anyway, so this is the completed British Columbia land. I think the log flume really adds to it. Um, and I like it. I think it looks great. So if you guys want, let's take a ride. Boom. So here it is. Um, I do like the views. You know, it took me. Oh, I did three different versions of a log flume trying to get it right, and I think this is probably my favorite. I mean, we have lots of splash zones. There's one right there. Uh, I love the moon. And a log log ride at night. How cool is that? So we come across, and we come across to the harbor center, the top of the harbor center here, which is, you know, a very well-known feature in Vancouver. So we go around, you're seeing some water, it's nice and cool, you got the nice, cool mountain air. You know, this is all built on artificial mountains to give that BC feel, and you start to rise above the trees. And it's still nice, and you look around, and you're, you're like, wow, I'm sorry, get up here, get up pretty high here. Pretty high indeed. And soon, when you look out, you'll see all of Canada land out there, but for now, we've only got British Columbia's portion. You get splashed a little bit there, and then you come around the corner, and British Columbia's portion is going to be in full view. I can't wait to have the rest of Canada land done so you can see it all there. We'll do a big tour when the time comes. So you come around the corner, and down you go. All the way down. Splash! And you come around the corner, you come past Harbor Center once again, and back up. And we keep climbing back up once again. I think we go a bit higher. I don't quite remember, but I think we go a bit higher here. Um, as we reach maximum height. No, we are a bit lower. Keeps getting lower at this point. Yeah, those that is uh, that is much lower. So you got a nice little stretch here where you can relax. You can listen to some pirates singing. It's great. Dun, 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 dun. You can maybe grab some of the water. You probably shouldn't drink it, or else you might scream, "I am the Lizard Queen." That's a reference to something. I hope a lot of you get. And you come over the ledge, and down you go. Splashed with water, up we go again. So you get, I think there's three splash zones here, each one lower than the last. And we keep climbing, 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 climbing to the top. Now we're at the third level. And again, boom, boom. Hit the water. It's nice and cool, refreshing, everything looks beautiful. My computer went to sleep. There we go, my computer went to sleep. And you come around the bend. Oh! That's the, that's the picture right there. And once more, dawn rises and you go down. And you turn, turn, and we slowly come back in to the beautiful, the wonderful, the British Columbia portion of Canada land. And there we are. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please click like. If you really enjoyed it, please click subscribe. See you again next time.